All right, so the fact that you're watching this video right now means I have been able to solve the issue. Well, I haven't been able to solve the issue, but what I did was I Googled it, and apparently it does happen more often, unfortunately, when loading between different levels and different games in, you know, using Dolphin emulator in general. And the way I fixed it was very simple. I played through it a couple times, realized it was getting stuck every single time, and I created a save state just before the level transition screen. And I just started spamming, brute forcing it, brute forcing it, brute forcing it. And like seven, eight tries later, it worked. Now, I'm hoping I don't have to do this for every single level, but at least using the save state, I'll just try and make a mental image, you know, save using the save state just before you exit the level. And as long as it doesn't happen, you know, in the middle of a level, at least I can kind of brute force my way through it. So we can continue. I wanted to record a second one straight away here because I want to make sure there aren't any other issues popping up where I'm editing like the entire first video and then I end up, you know, having to throw it away anyway. So that's why I am back. Uh, let me just make sure everything is recording just to be completely safe. Everything seems to be fine. So we can continue playing some Carmen San Diego. I am actually very happy because I was, I was so scared that I was going to, you know, have another video where I'm like, oh, I really want to play this game. This game seems exciting. And then, you know, it, it doesn't work due to technical issues. Uh, so this makes me very happy. Uh, let's continue. I hope we can pick up something here. I'm also kind of like slowly getting the hang of the controls, I feel. Oh, hello. I see you over there. I could probably sneak in behind him here, right? Just keep on going. Keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. Don't run around. Pop. Also, I noticed the code at the very end of the level. Um, it, it's probably RNG or something changes about it because sometimes I had O11 and sometimes I had 100 and like it changes. So I don't know if it means anything, but it was different. It wasn't the same every single time. Dude, I have so many games that I still have on this list. I'm, I'm really excited to just it go absolutely nuts. Anyway, we have a new mechanic here apparently. Some laser beams. Exercise extreme caution when you see laser security devices. Like the surveillance cameras, they will automatically reveal your presence if you trip the sensors. Don't touch the beams. Okay, sure. I will not. I will just do this. Wait, wrong button. I will do this. Wait, was that not the goal? Uh, the guy is still cleared at least. Is this not what I'm supposed to do? Wait, then how am I supposed to cross this? Just regular jumping? Wait, did it say something? Did I misread? Don't touch the beams, okay? Oh. Okay, so I guess jumping works better than vaulting. Well, duly noted. Alright, let me make sure I take out the robots first. There's multiple, apparently. I want to get the pick up here. Okay, look around this thing. Oh, the other one doesn't see me from the other side. Smack him. Wait. I think I did well. The dropping aggro in this game is remarkably easy. You just hang behind the pillar for like two seconds and aggro has been dropped. Don't you see me? The AI in this game is interesting. So I'm assuming they loop around in a quadrant here. Also known as a square, but a quadrant sounds fancier. Wait, now he sees me. What? He doesn't. The AI in this game is remarkable. Very remarkable. Okay. Uh, can you please continue walking? I would like to hit you in the back. Here we go. Here we go. Walk up. Walk up. Walk up. And smackaroni. Not to be confused with macaroni. I'm making myself hungry. Uh, there we go. That guy. I can probably walk over here. Wait for him to walk past me. Walk around the sides. Dude, these guys could go for a big upgrade. They are not particularly well-designed robots. But hey, you know, they're early 2000s robots. The map has been updated. New data available. Okay, cool. Let's go to the map. So. I'm still not entirely sure what I'm looking at. Like, I feel like the map doesn't really add that much. It tells me there's a door. There's also a puzzle piece, which I know is in the middle here. I can just jump over this and grab it, right? You must collect all the puzzle pieces in order to activate the puzzles. All right, I think there's only one puzzle piece in this particular area, so I guess I did it. 
Now, do I know where... Okay, so I'm still missing four of the clues and one of the whatever they are. I wonder how many optional areas are in a game like this or if it's you know, fairly straightforward. So how do I go? Oh, I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. Boop. Yes. All according to my plan. Okay, let me see what's going on up here. There's probably going to be more robots, right? The puzzle piece is up there or the puzzle button is up there. Uh, I can't go in here yet unless I can shoot something from like some weird angle. Don't think I can. Okay, that's fine though. Uh, there also aren't any robots here, which is making my life remarkably easy. Oh, there is one. I just didn't see it. Is it walking away from me? I think it is, right? Yeah, it's going to walk to the left. Here we go. We're going to sneak up on it. We are committed to being a sneaky bastard and just slamming it in the back like this. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, look at this mask in the wall as well, by the way. They're like... Remind me of the, um, of like those Hawaiian masks. All right. A tile on the ground indicates a puzzle location. Once you have enough pieces, go back to the puzzle tile to activate it. Solving the puzzle will allow you to advance further into the level. So it is a mandatory thing, I suppose. Uh, X when ready. Stand by analyzing data. To complete the puzzle, select a blank selection of the tapestry. Then find the appropriate puzzle piece and place it in the correct spot. Each time you place a piece, it costs you one turn. So every move counts. You can take a peek at the finished puzzle, but it will cost you one turn every time you do it. Oh, I don't like these kind of puzzles. I'm really bad at these kind of things. Wait, what am I... This thing goes up there? Yes. Uh, This thing... But I guess it's going to be that one. It's not. It's actually... Not that one. It is this one. Then under that is going to be the arm aiming upwards. Like here is going to be this one. Then it's going to be... Which part exactly am I missing? This part. So it connects to the under end of the arm. And it's the left one. That one. And then at the very bottom, it is the one with the green in the center. So this is this. Okay. Oh, wait, oh, damn it. Give me a pop-up. I just accidentally clicked A as I thought I was continuing out of the previous window. And it just happened to pop up. Oh, well, you know, maybe, maybe you can freeze frame it on the video. And uh, I can press X again, but I assume I will have to redo it. Which I don't want to do. I guess I can just... Maybe I can wait and see the pop-up again. I can't. Yes, sure. I'll reset it. Reset the puzzle. Yes. I don't want to... Why? Yes. Here we go. So I just deactivated this part. So we can... do. Oh, hello, 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 hello. I didn't see it right there. Peeking around the corner. Where are you going, sir? Here, here we go. All right, great. Like this, like this. There is another guy at the far end. Where is he looking? Like that. Okay. Walk up slowly. Walk up slowly. Walk up slowly. Here in the back. There we go. Perfect. Another one of the clues as well, by the way. So that's two out of five clues in New York Collected. Uh, this loops me back to the previous area where I wasn't able to go initially because there was a um, a force field over here. Do I have sufficient pieces to continue? Do I have five? Do I have four? Do I have five? We have a winner. Ding, 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 ding. So this is going to be a level transition screen, which is almost tricked me because it's a staircase. So what I will do is I will go into my safe state. I will save it to an empty save state and we'll go through. And if it doesn't work, I'm going to keep brute forcing it until we're there. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Does it work? Does it work at one go? I'm hoping it's, you know, very rare. And Oh, well, it happened again. Hi, uh, guys. 
I will see you um, in however many tries this is going to take. So see you in just a moment. All right, that actually only took two tries. That is definitely not too bad. So it works, it works. And let me just make sure I save again. The emulator is really helping me out here. Thank you very much, emulator, for allowing me to use my save states coming to actually gain some proper benefit from my recording session here. Great. What is that sound? It's telling me... Oh, does it mean communications came through? Ah, there we go. Yes. So this is a new one here. Hey, rookie. Shadow here. If you'd read the Acme Field Manual, you'd know to use radio silence when you're engaging hostiles. Carmen San Diego's robots are probably in the area already. Pay attention to what you're doing out there and try not to hurt yourself. Hey, I want to go into radio silence, but you're the one sending me a random ass message. So please allow me to be in full radio silence and just talk to myself for a bit. Are you going to be moving? Can I just like sneak around him? No, another game that's on my list of games that I might potentially play on the channel here is uh, Beyond Good and Evil. And this game also does kind of remind me of that game on occasion because there is a lot of, you know, sneaking up to guys with green stuff on their backs and hitting them with, well, your weapon. I wonder if I'm missing stuff, like, you know, climbable terrain, like... It looks like there's something up there, but I don't know if I can get up there. Can I get up there? Oh, can I... There's like a lot of stuff up here as well, so I wonder if I can just climb up here and platform my way across. Okay, that has worked. Can I double jump up here? I can't, but I can come in behind and achieve absolutely nothing. Perfect. That is exactly what I was aiming to do. Alright, I will have to find a way up there. It might have to go and be from the inside. I wonder if I can, like, vault my way up there. Probably not. No, no, I can't. Uh, can I do something here, I wonder? And there's also this part. Oh, wait. I, I want to I wanna just vault. Come on. Just use your vault ability. No, stop being... What, what, what am I doing here? That was impressive. No, just use your vault ability, man. You know, I know there's not that much room, but you could... All right, the controls are a little bit wonky, guys. The controls are quite wonky. Okay, stand very far back, so there's a lot of room to, to use the vault. Use the vault. There we go. Oh, no, what? Grab the thing. Okay, well, this one, I guess I can just climb up this way. Oh. Wait, can I... No, okay, I can't do that. The vaulting mechanic has worked. That doesn't work. But I guess I can climb back out through the other window. Yes, and is there something down here as well? Or was that the intended path? I guess that was the intended path. I actually thought this was going to be the intended path. Okay, cool. Cool, we learned something. So we'll climb back on top of this truck using the front of the truck as a starting section for the platforming. Come on, let me just... Let me get up, man. Just, 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 okay. Just okay. Okay. Just, no, no. Guys, I, I know it looks like I'm really playing terrible. And yes, on the one hand, I am. But on the other hand, controls from this era of gaming are interesting. Let me boop you. Boop, boop, boop. I know, I want to boop it. Why do I have communications again? Stop stop spamming me. I'm literally in the middle of important business. Use your blow gun to trigger the crane switch, kid. It'll take you across the warehouse. How, how does it know? How did how does he know? Is someone watching me? Whoa! There's a lot of people around here. Well, not really people, they're more like robots. But you know. I don't want to judge too harshly. They're here, they're sentient. We take this slow here. We take out this guy after he walks past us. I see you. I am looking at you.
Run! Okay, we're fine. He doesn't know where we are. He is dumb. He is stupid. He does not know. So, these guys just kind of remind me of flies, you know? Like, I don't know exactly biologically how flies work, but from my understanding, their, like, short-term memory is extremely bad, which is why when they go sit on you, and then, you know, you, like, swat them, and they fly away, because obviously they're scared of getting hit, then they return to the same spot, because they just literally forgot that you just hit them. At least I think that's how flies work. Or maybe that's mosquitoes. I'm actually not too sure. Okay, so that opens up. That's nice. But I kind of feel like these robots are kind of similar where, you know, they, they see me, they're like, oh, there's an intruder here. And then, you know, they just drop aggro. Am I supposed to loop around him? He's going to see me, right? Yeah. Can I just bait him? Come at me, bro. Wait, where's my camera going? Camera. The camera was just kind of like left behind. The camera was like, I don't want to follow you. I'm on vacation. Please leave me alone. Anything I can collect around here? Let me... Ugh. The camera keeps getting stuck to the wall. Like, look at this. Like, the camera doesn't know how to handle walls. And it's very weird. Because, like, nowadays, obviously, that's something that has to be completely fixed. Like, it's quite easy for a camera to just change distance when there's a wall. But, like, it's trying to force itself in there. And nowadays, we just have, like, very adaptable cameras. That's the crane that we're talking about, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I can... also shoot that one but i'm assuming that's that's also the same as that one okay let me just hop in behind them Oops. and bam. there we go i took all of the robots out or at least i think that's all the robots great now i can just you know explore in peace although you know combat is definitely the easier part in this game i kind of want to make sure i grab all of these collectibles there was one up somewhere, right? Or did I, did I already grab that? Oh yeah, there's one up there. I see you. Uh, I wonder if I just jump on this cr this thing and then shoot, for example. Oh yeah, I can zoom in. I forgot about that. And I shoot, for example, that. Will I go in that, in that direction? Yes. Because now I can use that to jump on this and jump outside as well then collect these over here i kind of wish the game would tell me if i had collected everything so far because i feel like i've been reasonably thorough but i'm not too sure so i can probably just jump back onto it from here then shoot all the way to the other side like so. And then start traveling. Here we go. Here we go. And I can probably jump onto the middle platform over there. Also, don't know exactly what I am looking to achieve in here, but I do want to grab this final one that probably I can just jump. Okay. That did not work as I had planned. Is there a different way to get there? Right, let me just refill my ammo real quick. There we go. Ammo has been refilled. Can I climb up anywhere along these things? Probably not, right? Like, I know I can walk this direction. Can I hang on to this? Ah, there we go. I can hang on to that. Because I was not sure. Because I was like, you know, that, that, that pipe looks like I can hold on to it. But I, the game hasn't really shown me that I can do that too much. So I wasn't sure if it was going to need me to do that. Oh, and that's actually where we need to go, I think. Okay, drop this. Is this an, a level transition? Well, I'm, I'm too scared. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save real quick. I'm, I'm scared it's gonna crash. So hold on. Let me save to save slots. Perfect. And now I climb up. Let's go. Let's see if there's a save transition. Probably not because there isn't like the pop-up on the screen, but you never know for sure. All right, we're now on the roof. And you know what they say about the roof? You know, it is on fire. We do not need no water. I can climb down there if I want to. But first, let me take out this guy. I need to be slow so these birds don't scare him off. No! I just want to fight you. Straight up. Okay. 
we hide back behind this thing. D D A. The enemies in this game are rather interesting just because of the way they're they're coded and like the way they drop out. Dude, stop it! I should just stop walking through the birds, I guess, but the birds have been taken care of, so you know, it's all good. Boop! Perfect! Can I climb up here? Um, I can jump down there. I think I need to jump down there anyway to collect the double code. There is probably something on that side as well. Is it going to be... Oh, well. And now they won't see me anymore. Oh, they will. Okay. Don't, don't worry. Now I'm safe. Camera peeking. Camera... No, camera, what are you doing? Why are you going back to the original location? Yes, I need you on that side. Beautiful. I do wonder if we get to situations more uh, later where we have to keep an eye on multiple robots at the same time because they'll, you know, they'll be crossing their their vision where we have to like time it where they're both not looking instead of just the one guy not looking uh, is this something i can just break no it's not okay so i suppose i'll want to climb back up using this ladder over here and then climb across to the other side and then do something from there i mean i want to collect the collectible over there anyway so i'm gonna have to go there I also wonder how different the levels are going to be because this is New York and I don't know if we're going to be just in city levels or if it's going to be different types of biomes or, or what really, but I'm curious because I like, I feel like I've played this game a lot, but honestly, like I like I said, you know, I remember the game. I remember the game's looks. I remember like the, the stick he has and it's, in my mind, it was more of like a Kung Fu game, but it isn't and I'm just very unsure as to what's going on. Uh, I think I can go down into this one. Can I not? Yes. Here we are. That's the end of the level. Well, the end of this section. Uh, let's just do some quick exploring down here. I will... There's probably going to be a camera here as well, right? Just because the camera mechanic hasn't been there in a bit. And it would be kind of weird if I didn't use the mechanic whatsoever. Let's see what this thing does. Let's just open up the... the, the, the... Yeah, it just opens up the door. Okay. This makes tra travel a little bit easier. All right, another one of the clues. That's three out of five. I mean, I feel like I've been quite thorough, so I think I should have gotten all of them so far, which suggests I'm about 60% through the first level, I guess. Oh, I see you. But you do not see me, because I am invisible. I am a genius. Yes, keep walking. No, not in this direction. Now it's going to be ages before he passes me. Well... I guess I am a patient boy. I see you. No, don't see me. Oh, another robot over there. Oh. This guy is committed to catching me. This guy is much more committed than most enemies. I'm impressed. I'm intrigued. This guy is my nemesis. Which direction is he going to walk? Okay, away from me. Nice. Slap in the back! Oh, you saw him turning around. He was like, I see you! But he was too late. Oh, I was so close to hitting him. I'm actually not sure if that's possible. I thought I could just like kind of like sneak hit him real quick. Oh, chilling, 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 chilling. What? Where are you looking? Okay, that's that's not gonna work. Wait, he didn't aggro. Uh, sir, are you good? Oh, that works. Interesting. Very, very interesting. 
All right, that's all of the ones I have to collect. So I think I've gotten everything here. But let me just do a quick exploring run. See if I can find my way up somewhere. Because there are some things up. And I don't know how I'm supposed to get there. Like Sometimes like you would feel like you could jump up here. But I think it's just... Just scenery and not something that I can actually do properly. Uh, let me just quickly run around here. Is there a point to climbing up on these here? I came from these. But maybe I can like vault my way up onto this. Yes. Okay, that works for me. No, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dude. Wait, did I die? I didn't, right? No, I didn't die. I just lost some HP, right? Are they still here? No, okay, they're gone. All right, that, that, that was interesting. That was a lot of fall damage, I guess. Okay, we climb back up here. Platforming. Like, this game isn't super bad. and You know, it's not like it's tank controls or anything. Like, it's not, you know... Like pre 2000s pads, but it's definitely not very optimal. I just have to be more patient. I'm trying to rush through things a little bit sometimes, and I just need to be more patient. I will grab that on the way back because I think I want to commit to that thing first. I can just use Vault for this because there's a wall behind it anyway. It doesn't mean if I doesn't matter if I overshoot it just a little bit. So that is four out of five. Uh, that's everything done except for the last clue and then the statue i guess it is or main statue or something like that I, I i'm not sure exactly what it is but it's fine i could have just climbed up using the ladder as well by the way why am i so incredibly dumb i do not know you know i can i could have literally just climbed up through here then again, I couldn't have seen the thing up there, but I, I took a, a route that was way harder than, than what I needed to take. But that's just the way I operate, you know? I gotta, I gotta commit to difficulty. Did I grab the one down here, or did I actually miss it as I was falling down? I did grab it. Okay, perfect. And then I want to jump over here. Oh, that was rough. And then grab this. No, grab it! Get it! Get it, my man! Just... Ah! Right. No rage. No rage. No rage. We are part of what we call the Zen Let's Plays, the Zen Streams. It's what I'm all about. I do not do raging. Although, slight annoyance is, is fine. That's fine. I'm, I'm sure of it. Slight annoyance is okay. It's a-okay. It's all of a jump over. Okay. Now aim over there. Can I just press X while not moving? No, I can't. I need to be moving a little bit. Okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Get this jump. Just jump down. Perfect, perfect. Now, double jump up. This is good, this is good. I don't even need to be here, but I'm committed. How do I get up there, though? What the? Oh, there's just this one that is... See, I don't, I don't need all of these, but I'm just so committed now. I'm committed. All right, what I'm also committed to is jumping down here, scanning around for any pickups... And then saving the game. Because I do not want to have to replay this collectathon a bit here. So let me take a quick moment to save to a safe state. And I'm gonna go through. Let's see if we can one one shot it. Come on, one shot it. Come on. RNG Jesus, let's go. Let's go. Oh 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 one oh one try is what that means. Or it means ten tries, which would be rough. So we're leaving the warehouse. Let's see. I made it. Okay. It's fine. I'll be back in a moment. Ah, we have made it to the docks. You know, once again, only two tries. I'm actually quite satisfied with that. Let me just make sure I very quickly take another safe state. And there we go. We can keep on going. Perfect. Oh, we have some more communications coming in. Oh, so if I press the Z button as well, which is the RB button on my personal control, like the button up here. I don't just open the map, I open up the communications tab whenever it is appropriate, I guess. So, A Strange Energy by Jules Argent. Keep going, Cole. You're almost there. Don't slow down. 
I've got a feeling Carmen's close. But be very careful, Cole. I'm detecting strange energy pulses around you. I don't know what they mean, but I don't like them. Wait, strange energy pulses around me as in around me in my general vicinity or strange energy pulses around my particular body? You know, like literally my body. I'm assuming they mean in my general vicinity, so something is going on. Like, is there going to be like a boss fight or something? I feel like I don't ever need HP. All right, map has been updated. You know, I feel like I should use the map, but I rarely use it. I can, however, now see that there is a statue over there. And there is a, whatever a main statue is at the very end of the pier. You know, I like how they're, you know, they're very small levels. I think this is like level five or something. Oh, so that's Carmen San Diego, right? Trying to find, fight a big, well, robot monkey guy. Dude, she has some moves. Why are we helping Carmen? Aren't we supposed to try and catch her? Uh, was that it? That was very easy. Shadow Hawkins. Subject X XP38. Hurry up, kid. My XP38 standard issue Acme radar shows that Carmen San Diego is still on the pier. You might have time to catch her if you show a little hustle. Oh, yeah. Don't make a rookie mistake and forget to pick up the compass. All right, so that was interesting. That was like a supposed to be a boss fight, I guess, but I just smacked the guy three times and he died. So I don't know if that was supposed to be a boss fight, but it was kind of introduced as a boss fight. Also, what is this thing? Whoa! The masks unlock the master statue. Once you have gathered all the masks, come back to the master statue to collect the concealed compass. Is this just a... Oh, hello. Are you back? Use caution when you approach the spirit statues. They launch spirits to keep you from getting close. Try to approach without getting hit. Destroying all of the statues will release the compass from the main statue. So by, by main statue, um, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that means the thing at the very end over there. So every level can have multiple. In this case, there was only one. Uh, that makes some sense to me. Okay, that's an interesting mechanic. But, you know, souls. Also, there's like many of these mobs now all of a sudden. I wonder if there's a point at, you know, fighting these guys now. I kind of wish there was like an experience bar or something I could be getting off this. Because I'm having fun slapping these guys around, but there needs to be a purpose to them. Map has been updated. New data available. It's probably the same message as I had previously. Because I don't think there is new data available. I think we just keep saying the same thing. Also, do those monkey guys respawn? I wonder. Oh! My, my, my pickups, man! My pickups! Hello, Carmen. I like her design. So apparently she's from like a strip, right? I have never read this strip, but I think there's also an anime ad adaptation or something like that. From what I heard. Okay, but before I follow her into wherever she's going, because I, I'm sure I'll be able to follow her somehow, I do want to see if there are any other collectibles for me to grab, because I've been quite thorough about them. Can I go all the way over there? Probably not, right? Although I can, maybe. Whoa. Jump up. Do this! Oh, dude, that was beautiful. I'm so good at this game now. I'm becoming a professional. Oh, okay, so I don't want to be where it spawns. Okay, duly noted. These shields protect you from enemy attacks and hurt them on contact. They also supply magic power to activate runes when you step on special surfaces. Unfortunately, their effects don't last long, so work fast. Uh, do I have to shoot it? Ah, it's the final clue, is it not? But it's on the other side, or where exactly is that? Let me grab this. Let me grab this. Oh, it's just over there. Okay, do I have to be careful? I think this thing might hurt me. Let me shoot it once. Just because I can. Yeah, 
boom. I don't know what's going on with like the weird magic and stuff. I wasn't really expecting this game to contain magic. I felt like it was more like a, you know, a pretty grounded game where we were just going to chase down some villain and just have some, you know, casual platforming and stealth sections. But apparently there's magic now. To get the compass inside the main statue, destroy all the other statues first. Use your map to find them. The level with the main statue in it will show up orange in your transporter. Ah. That is the fuck. That is the final clue, guys. The final clue has been obtained. Ah, and then we get the clues. And because we get the clues, we can now figure out where she is so we can unlock the next level. I wonder, does that mean we'd have to go back to previous levels if we do not get the clue? Or can we just not even finish level if we do not have the clue? Also, are they all five? There are so many questions I have. So we're trying to scan right now. We're, um, is that somewhere in... I didn't really pay attention, but is it somewhere in Japan? would send a kid after me you got lucky this time <laughs> Cole this is Jules report in what's going on she got away ah. it's okay Cole she has a nasty habit of getting away come on back to HQ okay maybe I'm not up for this after all wait a second I found a clue take a look it's a Maori design. Maori? Yes, from New Zealand. The GPS coordinates we just got confirm that location. Destination, New Zealand. All right, so I was completely off because I wasn't really paying proper attention to the map. So, with Agent Argent's help, I followed the clue to New Zealand. Curious, isn't it? That she always leaves clues behind. It's as if she wants to be followed. Hmm. The question is, why? I noticed that. I was thinking maybe... I'm not interested in your hypotheses. What happened when you arrived in New Zealand? Yes, ma'am. Well, I was talking to one of the villagers, asking if anyone had seen anything strange lately, when... The people are afraid. There must be a reason. Hello? Cole, I don't care where you are. I want you to return to headquarters now. And don't pretend you don't hear me this time. What are those sounds? Don't know. I'll find out for you. Forget the sounds. I want you to return immediately. I'm sending jewels and shadow for... New Zealand is a country made up of a pair of large islands and several smaller islands and is located in the Southern Hemisphere deep in the South Pacific Ocean. It's 1,000 miles from Australia, 4,500 miles from South Africa, and 900 miles from New Caledonia. Its capital is Wellington, named after General Wellington, who defeated Napoleon in 1815. New Zealand is home to 3,800,000 people, often referred to as Kiwis. The two principal languages are English and Maori. Rotorua is a city in the central region of the Northern Island, one of the most geothermally active regions in the world. It's well known for its numerous geysers, steaming lakes and streams, bubbling mud pools and active volcanoes. Rotorua is also an important center of Maori culture. All right, you know, the more you know, I'm very happy it's telling us about all that. Also, I, I have definitely played this level before because I do get some you know, nostalgic vibes looking at this entryway here. Also, the moment I saw a loading screen over there, I was quite scared. I was like, oh no, what's going to happen in this thing? We're going to tell me about the geysers going on. Oh no, it's just the map that's been updated. Okay, here we go. So we can look at the map now. The map looks so weird. Also, it's so weird how we get, you know, this random bit of information about the location we're going to. Like, I like it. Don't get me wrong. It just feels extremely out of place, like we're playing some sort of weird educational game. But the entire rest of the game isn't based around that. But then those like small sections are, which I don't mind, you know, give me some information. I like it. And New Zealand is what I thought of. Like I was thinking, you know, Hawaiian mask is what I said. But, you know, 
I was thinking New Zealand, but I just couldn't figure out where they were from. But now that they say New Zealand, I'm like, yeah, that makes perfect sense. That makes much more sense than uh, Hawaii. Also, looking at the objectives we can get right now, we do have five clues again. So that probably suggests there's going to be five levels, but we don't know for sure. Uh, there's also the uh, eight of the things we couldn't pre previously get, the statues, four puzzle pieces. And uh, yeah, there's just a lot more to collect here. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I'm going to be ending the video here. I'm going to be starting episode three right here, and we'll see how far we can make it through this, uh, you know, this New Zealand zone. And then, uh, you know, we'll, uh, we'll see if we can make it all the way through in one video. We don't know for sure. We'll see when it happens. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Have a nice day. And I'm just super happy I can continue this game because I have fun and uh, I, I figured out the solution and that just makes me happy. So thank you for watching. Have a nice day. I'll see you around.